What up, what up, what up, Algonquin in the Algonquin community? I'm Matt DiGregorio alongside co-host John Paul Maris and other co-host Drew Courtright. We have some heaters today for the boys <laughs> Definitely heaters. and the girls. Love it. Um, let's just get right into it. Uh, the big story, it's the weekend in football, the championship weekend, let's best go. weekend of the year. Exciting time. Yeah. Uh, uh, Pats Jaguars. Yeah, let's yeah. Okay. Let's get right into yeah. it. Uh, Vegas put the Pats at nine nine minus point nine, favorites, and uh, it's going to be a good one. I mean, it's been talked about how Blake Bortles can he get the job done in New England? Yeah. Not many quarterbacks can. Um, we talked about the playoff experience. It's not even close between yeah. these two guys. Um, thoughts? Uh, I don't think he can get it done. It's <laughs> as simple as that. Simple as that. The nine point spread is, in my opinion, kind of pathetic. <laughs> I think yeah. it should be more like 17. Okay. Uh, right. Maybe 25. Very possible. Uh, wow. It's Brady. It, honestly, if the if the spread was 50, I wouldn't argue. <laughs> but Brady's but Brady's a little shaken up, John. That Brady's right, that right hand. Yeah. Is it real? Yeah. Is I think it is because I heard he was in the X-ray room last night late. So I'm not buying that. I think he it's is. to get away from press, dude. I mm, you could say that I I but if he miss he missed practice again today so. I mean, they're playing with the chip on their shoulder after all those allegations coming out. And mm -hmm. you, you put a chip on New England's shoulder. Good night. It's just Good night. bad. They'll I, come at you. Um, so I think the Jaguars already had their Super Bowl. The Jaguars' Super Bowl was the Steelers. I think mm -hmm. that they had their Super Bowl. It's, this it's, game, it is very this, hard to come back and play the next week after your biggest win in a franchise I, of probably 10 years. Yeah, dude. And this, and this team is even better than the last team you played. On paper... I think the Jaguars have a more intriguing roster to watch, but the Patriots have the greatest coach and the greatest quarterback of all time. See, so see the matchups just... are going to be tough. Yeah. I think they're going to put Ramsey on Gronk, mm -hmm. and the way they're going to guard these backs and will... Church over the top on him yep, too. Yep, and then they're going to have a mix of like Telvin Smith mm -hmm. against uh, Deion Lewis, James White. Um, it causes some tough matchups. Yeah. Um, but let's talk about the Tom Coughlin effect. Okay. So right. you want to you want to bring it up? So New. Okay, I'll start it off. New York Giants, I mean, we all know to uh, have the Patriots numbers beat the Patriots in two Super Bowl losses are twice. only two, twice, in crazy plays. Tom Coughlin is a defensive master. Went out this offseason, got signed by the Jaguars to be their DC up in the booth. He sees everything, picks up Calais Campbell, has an amazing draft, has Ramsey from the last draft. I mean, we're, they're, a good, they're a good squad on the defensive end, and that Coughlin effect can, can lead to problems for the uh, Pats. I don't know what you think, John. I mean... I think, yeah, maybe cause some troubles. He, he'll do his thing, but when it comes down to it, no single man can beat New England. Facts. I like and that. I don't think the Rams have, I mean, Jaguars. I don't think the Jaguars have what it takes. Yeah. And we've seen Tom Coughlin beat the Pats twice, like we already mentioned, but they had a quarterback. Mm -hmm. Eli was not, not great, but he was good in those Super Bowls. Yeah. He, made, he made gutsy throws. The second which, one, he which, was amazing. Which Bortles mm -hmm. can't do. Yes. So. And Bortles, so... Last game, Bortles actually outplayed Tom Brady. So I think Bortles, Bortles has that edge, but nobody he's, gets the job yeah, done. In I don't know. Like I that. don't know if he is that clutch gene. Um, so if you haven't noticed today's Jersey Day, we're wearing our jerseys. Um, my quarterback that I'm wearing, Johnny Manziel, does not have that clutch gene. Uh, Marcus Cannon, right? Yeah. You want to talk a little yeah, bit but about but it's Johnny's year though. It's, it's Johnny's, Johnny's year. year, and remember, we have formally invited Manziel on the show. So when uh, that teleprompter comes back on, we'll start talking. About Mandel, but James, <laughs> thanks, James. That's our producer, James Mahoney. Thank you. I'm repping the Marcus Canada. I mean, he can't play. He's been out a while. A great tackle and just repping him. Yeah, baby. Uh, Stay strong, Marcus Cannon. Ohio <laughs> State, Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, Yo, crop, crop it, that. crop it, crop top that. Uh, so he he was phenomenal at Ohio State. <laughs> Big fan. Uh, great elusiveness. <laughs> great speed. Great trucking. <laughs> The he won. He won a national championship for them, and I mean, I, I'd like to see what uh, what he can offer uh, next upcoming year. The, for the, the, see, the smile at John's face, if you guys didn't notice, just looked like a little baby on Christmas. Like <laughs> it just looks like John is in love with Ezekiel Elliott. Look at his smile, dude. I think he's in love with Ezekiel Elliott. Um, Let's get into the game. Minnesota yeah. Philly, Philly game. Who would have thought? Home Case dogs. Keenum, Nick Foles. Yeah. Wow. Uh, crazy. I think. Uh, Home dogs, Eagles again. I've heard that they're going to hand out e uh, the dog masks yep. at the Eagles. So I heard 70,000. 70, so we're, we're going like the Goodell towels again. Uh, <laughs> 
it's going to be interesting seeing everybody wearing like dogs. Uh, I feel like I'm in the dog pound in Cleveland. That's what I feel like it's going to be like. This game will be a better game on TV than the yeah. Pats Jaguars. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a fun one. I mean, Minnesota has a lot of momentum coming off that dig sketch. But both teams do. I think that Eagles have ra uh, rallied around being the underdog, and they like that. And uh, being a, that's an advantage for them. I'd say if the, uh, the Vikings – since they're favored coming into this uh, away game. Are they favored? Uh, yeah, by What's three. The three. Three points. Minus three. Hmm. So they, they clearly, Vegas thinks it's going to be a three-point game. I honestly think it might be closer. I think it's a one-point game, maybe a last-second field goal. All right. Um, <laughs> um, but home dogs, you never, you never let out, especially in a championship game. Yeah. Personally, I'm taking the Vikings, yeah. I think. Uh, they they want to play a Super Bowl at home. Yeah, that would that, that'd, that'd that'd be, be interesting. To that see. would be very interesting. But do they have... So will they let the Patriots be the home team in the Super Bowl? Because it's technically the Super Bowl is a neutral site. So they, can they play like they at the Viking Stadium, new stadium, beautiful stadium actually. They play a loud foghorn, kind of like at New England, but it's like a horn that like Vikings used to blow. And ev at every third down, like the Patriots do with the foghorn at uh, New England, at Gillette. So our, the big question going into this, if the Vikings do make it, no, just speculating here, do they let them blow this foghorn as a technical home game, even though it's supposed to be a neutral site? We all know Goodell's going to pull something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not – I mean, it, I mean, it, that's very tough to play. If we make it there, when we make it there, um, it's, I mean, it's going to be tough to play in Minnesota when they're the home team if they make it there. So yeah. it's going to be interesting. But let's get in the – explain. You want to explain yeah, the new so segment, Hot Seat, Cool Throw? We'll explain it to John, uh, Andrew, and a little explain it to Hank. Uh, I'm going to call our viewers Hank today. Okay. Uh, or everybody out there. Or everybody out there. Thank you. Uh, a little explain to you, Hank. A little explain to you guys. Uh, we have two new segments, plus our Blazing Five, which has been a big hit so far. Uh, first <laughs> new segment is the Hot Seat Cool Throne segment. We are going to find anything and everything around everywhere in the world, and we are going to put a hot seat on it. <laughs> and put it, uh, is their job or their whatever they are, up for uh, death, basically. And the cool wow. throne is right. what is in. So yep. uh, we'll kick it off. Uh, John, you want to start? Sure. My, I'll start. Uh, I'll start. Okay, yeah. go for it. <laughs> for sure. Hot seat. Christine Johnson. Oof. All right, that's no a good No snow throw. day. Peep the snow day video. Continued your sorry. I had to yep. put that <laughs> A lot of people thought we were going to have a snow mm -hmm. day. I, for one, thought we would. Um, it was a brutal, <laughs> brutal morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of people skipping school. Facebook group chat was going off. Wild. A lot of people going off on Twitter. Yeah. Administration, I think they were scared to send out a tweet. Yeah, they dude. didn't want to get the backlash, but yeah. Christine Johnson, that that was a bold move yeah. to have school. So, and cool throne. Let's get to the cool throne. Um, cool throne. What was it? What was my cool throne? <laughs> I'll go hot seat. I don't even remember. What was my hot seat? Oh, hot seat. Hot seating. Um, um, California, the state of California. I like that. That's the state a, of California, that's they're going to be great. Pick. They're going to be New California and California splitting off. New California is ridiculous because it's basically all California. California is LA, Sac uh, everything from LA to San Jose, and that's about it. San Diego, Sacramento, in the old California. LA just wants to branch off, be its own like country, basically. Would not be surprised in the next few years if it's its own country. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so New California hot seat, and I'm going to cool through, actually, you go hot seat. Yeah, my hot seat is Bitcoin. For those of you who haven't heard, Bitcoin dropped to under 50% of its highest point, yeah. uh, under 10,000, I'm pretty sure, and it's going down day by day. It's going to crash real hard soon. Yeah. That's my hot seat for this week. All right. I uh, just remember my cool throne, Alex Guerrero. <laughs> Alex Guerrero, you've seen Brady's injury lately. Guerrero is in fact not working on him. Uh, he's out of the he's out of the light a little yeah. bit. Nobody's talking about him anymore, especially with that win. So um, it's gonna be interesting what he's gonna be doing. Uh, what was my cool throne again? Shoot, my cool throne is pants. Okay. Pants are in. A little bit chilly outside. <laughs> Definitely recommend not wearing shorts to school. Um, uh, my cool throne uh, is brought to you by oh. 
I remember my cool throw. It was Nike Elite Socks. This kid is <laughs> Nike, wild today. Nike Elite Socks is my cool unscripted. throw. The, uh, <laughs> unscripted. Hey, for that's real. what it is. Yes, so we forget things. It's going to happen. It's <laughs> life. Like, we're champions, baby. Um, cool throw, Nike Elite Socks. I just looked down at my socks. NBA's new official sock. So you're going to see a lot more Marcus Smart repping those leggings, but under the Elite Socks now. Uh, John? So my cool throw, the sensation... <laughs> Video game Fortnite. Boom! Oh, there it they is. just dro oh, dropped a bunch of new cities. Uh, that game, a lot of kids are playing that. I mean, you've seen it everywhere. Yeah. It's, it's electric. Yeah. Uh, it's, so it, you, you play Fortnite? Uh, my brother does. I don't play Fortnite because okay. I'm not Dudes a gamer. Yeah. yeah. First off, uh, to, to address those allegations that I can't hang with uh, <laughs> the Xbox life right now, um, I am currently doing my career in NBA 2K, and I'm kind of killing it. I'm a 66 right. overall, All right. uh, trending towards a 70-ish. Killing it on Killing rookie. It. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. On yeah, rookie. I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually in my rookie mode too. Oh, okay. <laughs> so my, my player kind of Don't banging sleep. it out. What's what's his name? Uh, Matt Gregorio actually. Don't sleep on Don't Matt Gregorio in uh, my park. If uh, you ever see him. My player. My not player. not Fortnite. Right. My player in NBA 2K. Okay. Uh, so actually, we're gonna welcome on a guest right now. His name, Gus Chapin. We'll get to the rest of the show after this. We now like to welcome on special guest, first guest of the Unscripted. His name, Gus Chapin. What up? What up? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Handshake guy right here. Yeah, dude. He. Um, what can I say? He's a basketball star. He was a former hockey player. Mm -hmm. Made the transition to basketball. He's a little Barry Bonds like in his muscle. Don't forget about status. golf. What golf. can I say? Oh yeah, he's a yeah, golf athlete. Golf. Not not uh, breaking news. Not suspended from golf. So. So proud of you for that. Thank you. Never it's got a big caught. accomplishment. Never got right. caught. <laughs> Gus is on the hot seat. Little rocking chair action. All right. All right. First off, one thing I've been wondering all year as I watch the basketball team, who's the locker room guy? You know, I really got to give the locker room guy to Zach Sides. Wow. And yeah, Z I know. Sleeper pick. I know. <laughs> it's a hot take. I know. The thing about Z is that He's a man of few words, but <laughs> he's really weird. So it gets like thing, it gets things going in the locker room, you know. It okay. picks you guy. up, puts you down. Yeah. So so you're the guy who does the handshakes before the game. Yes. A lot of pressure. Ooh. Um, you know, when I'm sitting out there, you know, I got some pretty large calves, and people okay. like to make fun of them. Okay. So I, I have heard that. Yes. Yep. He's done it before to me. Yep. Um, I face 300 people with these large calves, you know, and I sometimes like in the back of my head, I'm like, man, I bet these people are looking at my calves, saying like. What is, he, what is he doing with those tree trunks on his leg? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. tough sometimes, but, you know, I get the job done. I, okay. like that. I, I, like have, that. I have a quick question for Gus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gus, so I'm thinking that you have a decent view of the court. Um, what are you seeing out there with this big three, and, like, how do you think that they're rolling? Here's the thing about the big three. They're well, all they're all knocked down. That's the, that's the best thing about them. Do you give them an open shot, it's going in every time. There's no question about it. Redden, he's... The bet, he's the most creative with the ball I've ever seen. He can put it off the backboard from anywhere. Ridiculous. More creative than LeBron? LeBron's not creative. He's just a, he's just a large man. You know? like, I got to rep that, though. <laughs> he's still rep LeBron, large man, Le large man. LeBron in high school, Hendu in high school. It's close, you know, like, <laughs> it's a close fight <laughs> to the top. Like, that, I don't know. Hendu's pretty <laughs> good. I see it. I LeBron, see it. I, LeBron, the chosen one, Hendu's the chosen one for Algonquin. So, I mean. Love it. AJ Broder, though. I mean, that was Ooh. like. A couple yeah. years ago. Like, we're on to the new stage now. Yeah, you know, we're on to the new stage. All right. Favorite guy to do handshakes with? Got to give that to Seth Trevanik. And, um, and why? And why? Yeah. The reason for that is that all the other handshakes, like Brian, he says, I don't want to do a handshake. He just runs right by ah. me. You know, it's ridiculous. Right? He's a gamer, Everybody though. wants to. Game respects game, right? Yeah. Game respects no, game. He's in the zone, so I can see why he doesn't want to do it. But me and Seth, we just do three slaps and then finish with the the dap and the like gun that. out. I like it. It's a simple, it's clean, it's nice. Mm -hmm. All right. So you, there's a lot of talent on the team this year, and mm -hmm. the team is playing really good. Yep. How does it feel to be cheering for them? Well, <laughs> here's the thing about that. He knocked out a three the other night. People forget that. Yeah, we'll yeah. talk about yeah. that later. We'll talk about we'll that, talk that later. About we'll that get later. to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I get cushiony seats to every game. That's true. You guys go on the bleachers. That thing's plastic. True. Mm -hmm. Doesn't feel good. My seats have a few inch layer cushion in the, on my butt and, and the in the back. Side. And on my the back. Court side. Court side. Court side cushioned seats 
All right, I get to hear everything <laughs> Coach Doherty's saying in the timeouts. <laughs> I know the game plan. I know what's up, what's down, what's left, what's right. I go to practice every day. Yep. With those cushiony seats on the court side, <laughs> there's nowhere better to cheer. Sometimes, a lot of people, when people score, people get up and clap, but I'm way too comfy in my chair. I don't have time to stand up, oh, you know what I mean? I don't yeah. have time to stand up and... So take me through that three. What was going in your head uh, while you're taking it? Well, what, what's your shooting percentage on the year? It's a hundo. I'm pretty sure that's missed. perfect. It, it, yeah. like, is it it well, I don't know if it's perfect. So, so you're no, the best pure, shooting good, percentage in right? no, it's it's pretty pretty good. Good. He's the best shooting percentage in the history of the world, actually. Yeah, I, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, I like you're, so. you're a world-class yeah, yeah, yeah. athlete is what we're talking well, about. So take me through that. Well, what happened was, before the three, we've got to go back a little bit because there's things that build up to it. I'm sitting on the sideline out of nowhere. Coach Doherty goes, you're going in, probably because we were up by 25. Like, why else would I go in? But that's besides the point. So, hey, you're a closer. Exactly. You've got you to finish the game strong. So I have a white shirt, kind of like this one, under my maroon jersey. And apparently that is not legal, right? Oh. That's not legal. Not legal. So Coach Doherty goes. You allegedly had the white allegedly. shirt. Allegedly. They don't know for a fact. They're yeah. trying to accuse me. But yeah. I got a good lawyer, so I'm good. Yeah. Anyways. Like that. Um, I had to take my shirt off for like 300 people, you know, like I was looking good and all. Like, I remember that. Fine. Yeah, like I, remember I, that. Like, I, what, I what look, were your thoughts when you did that, though? When my thoughts? When Gus my thoughts were, I'm going to scream really loud. Because <laughs> it was so hot. It was, I mean, you yeah. could say that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Needless to say, we got pretty rowdy when you took mm -hmm. your shirt yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. So then I put my jersey on. Seth turns around and goes, Gus, your jersey's on backwards. And I look down, I'm like, damn. That's just a number. There was no, no t tomahawk thing or anything. I was like, man, like the, the neck thing is on the other side and stuff. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> you know, so I didn't know what to think then. So I had to take my, my jersey off. So I was, I was shirtless twice, put it back on. And then that's the point I got into the game. So I get in there. So you're a little nervous by I'm, then. By then I'm like, wow. A lot of people just saw I'm me really shirtless. screwed up. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, now like, I can't. Like this, this is my first time game. going in, and I'm not doing good so far. So yeah. we go out there at first. Twenty seconds in, Doe Do calls a timeout. We go into the the uh, huddle. He starts yelling. He goes, "You guys are embarrassing us and all this stuff." <laughs> how, and I'm like, how much are you up by at this point? Just so like tw I want to say twenty five. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah like, like a lot. So like enough for me to be in the, the game. Yeah. Exactly. So I haven't even hit my three yet at this point, and I was like, I didn't say this, but I was thinking, Coach, I'm gonna make you proud. You know, I'm mm. going to do what I got to do. So I like that. Zides, Zides is driving down the middle. He breaks the first line of D, makes my guy slide to him. I go, Zach. <laughs> and he looks at me and he goes, what's up? And I go, <laughs> All right. I'm open over here. He's like, okay. And then he throws me a nice chest pass right in the, right in the pocket. You know, they gave me like, like I'm a world-class shooter. Yeah, they're giving me like definitely. six what feet. What are they of, doing? That's they're crazy. giving me six feet of space yeah. and I am... A world-class shooter. That's right? like giving a giraffe a tree to eat, dude. Right? Yep. They're exactly like that. I couldn't think exactly. of a better comparison. <laughs> Anyways, um, analogy, whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, you know, so I just pulled up. I know I've practiced. I go to, I practice my shot a lot. You know, I've yeah. perfected the art. Yeah. So I just pulled up. I knew that I was about to turn around mm -hmm. and just stare into the Neshoba's souls. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like I knew that I was going in as soon as I released the ball. Yeah. Next thing you know, back rib straight in. Whole fan section going wild for me. And yeah. I'm like, wow, this is yeah, nice. Like this that. is not, they were, going, they were rowdy. And it's John fitting, was rowdy. And it's fitting to too. see the locker room guy pass it to you. It, it does. Because, Zach you know, sides with the assist. before the game, he inspired me. Stat, you know? stat sheet stuffer. Yep. Yeah. True. Minus the rebounds and the points. Yeah. And the steals and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got that. Stuff <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Um, so, all right. So, um, if you could relate your style of play to any NBA superstar, who would that be? You know, I'm not about the superstars. They get all the limelight, you okay. know. Everyone like thinks that. they're so special and everything. Yeah. It's about the role players. Deli. You know why? Deli. I would say Deli, but I don't try in defense, so I'm not Deli. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to give you it You didn't hear that, Coach. No, no, no you don't watch this show. It's fine. <laughs> um, I try hard. <laughs> um, anyways, so... <laughs> I gotta just give it to Ryan Anderson. If you don't know Ryan Anderson, go look it up. He just had a sick dunk a few days ago. Not that I can dunk. I can dunk, allegedly. <laughs> um, allegedly. So he got up and slammed it. But that's not the point. That man doesn't play D, doesn't rebound. He's 6'10", whatever. He doesn't even care. Yep. He sits in the corner on offense. He sits there. And he just waits. One of every 10 possessions, they give him the ball. Pulls up every time in. I that have, man is a knockdown three-point shooter. Stretch four, just like me. Boom. Just I like have you. two questions for You're you. here first. I have two questions for you, Gus. One's a first question. Second one's a follow-up question. Okay. First question. 
If you were to compare yourself to a NBA legend, who would it be? Very similar to the last question. Um, very similar. Yeah, very no, similar. Yeah, no, I'm going to have to. I just want to see. <laughs> That's tough. Mm. I'm going to have to give it to uh, old Larry Bird. Yeah, Larry Legend. Kind of, I could have guessed that. Got to give it to Larry ben, ben Legend. You know? Or Michael Jordan, but yeah. I had to put it close yeah. to Larry and Bird. Fo um, follow up question uh, What's your favorite woodland creature? Oh. <sighs> Can you uh, define woodland creature for me, uh, please? So we're going, we're ranging from all the way from the small, like little rodent in a chipmunk, mm -hmm. to a big one like the falcon. Okay. Pretty much any creature lives in the woods. Or around all that, the way. He 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 Thank specified. You, John. Thank that you, John. was he specified it for me. Okay. I wasn't sure. Okay. okay. Um. Game respects the game. Man, it does. I gotta give it. Gotta give it to the groundhog. Groundhog. Ooh. Can we get a reason why though? Ah, uh, yeah. You know why? Because that fat Larry makes the decision every year whether we're going to have more winter or if spring's coming early. Boom! All right? Just like me. You know what I you know what decisions I make? What? I go home after basketball. I say, do I want a sandwich or do I want mac and cheese? I like that. And I make the decision. That's true. The meal and champions. That, yeah, exactly. And sometimes I'm like, why don't I just get both? So the groundhog makes these key decisions. Mm -hmm. Like, I want spring early, but if he's like, nah... Nah, like, I, can, I don't want to see my shadow. <laughs> then he's like, we're going to have a lot more winter. But, like, that's like me. Like, I'm like, man, do I want to, like, overstuff myself, like, with mac and cheese and a sandwich? Yeah, yeah. Or do I just want to keep it light? You know, maybe some whole wheat bread and, oh, like, definitely. turkey right. and some so, cheese. So, uh, funny story. My birthday is on Groundhog's Day. Whew. My favorite woodland Groundhog creature Day. is also a groundhog. Oh, my wow. gosh. Wow. This is right. crazy. Um, I don't know. Uh, this first. is, wow. wow. I'm shocked. All right, Dude. Gus, Gus Chapin, everybody. Is that Welcome Gus Chapin? Thank yep. you. Well, hey, thank you. It was thank an honor. You. That's our first guest. That's Gus Chapin. Well, welcome back, and just want to give another thank you to Gus Chapin. So, one thing I wanted to bring up going into Gonk Sports was uh, when he was talking about the Neshoba basketball game that he got in at the end of the game when they were up 25 points, he mentioned how Coach Doe was still coming at them, and he was really paying attention to detail, even though they're up by 25. And that's the mark of a good coach. Yeah, that man's that's, not afraid to back down. Yeah, Belichick, Taylor Allen, all the same, dude. <laughs> like, yeah. they, they're, they're gritty. They're uh, gritty, and that's, yeah. that's what it takes to win. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a Belichick at heart. And how about that ski team? Mm -hmm. they're Ooh, looking Kaylee real Reynolds? Nice. Oh, yeah. First in C-Mass. Wow, dude. First wow. in C-Mass at their, uh, their opening meet. The that's slope impressive. style team. Ski, Kaylee, ski. Ski, Kaylee, ski. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get a little update on the swim team. Um, my boys and girls on that swim For, team. Former Pita, team. Former, former, team. former uh, tryout tee of the uh, Hey, everybody, swim everybody, team. everybody gets cut hey, once in a while. Hey, uh, just, it's a minor setback for a major comeback. Exactly. Like, that's what we're going to just call it. Um, so that swim team, they're doing decent right now. I, if, I mean, if I was on the team, we might be doing a little better, but <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, hot take city. Um, so that's a show to that swim team. John. Uh, uh, so we got Gone Cocky still. Their yeah. Shrewsbury game coming huge up. Huge game Saturday. Huge, huge game. game. That'll there. be electric. Be Six o'clock at North Star. Yep. Again, Shrewsbury, the number one team in the state. Um, what else have we got? Gone Cross Winter country. Sports. Going yeah, well. Yeah, just go, go, go T-Hawks, baby. Uh, yeah. We will have an interview with you later of our quarterback, Hayden Key, which John will be, produce, or John will be interviewing Hayden. Uh, it's definitely much watch television, I'd say. Um, mm -hmm. Everything's much watch everything television. Everything with us is much watch, must watch, but this is going to be electric. Um, free key. Free key, baby. Uh, so our next segment is also another new segment. We're calling it the Daily Hat Trick. Uh, if you've heard of like Mount Rushmore or uh, the rankings of people, that's what basically this is, but it's only three. And it's big, big boy stuff. It's gonna, so, it's gonna be like so a snake it. draft. It, it is. So we're going snake. This tonight, today is snake draft version. We're going snake draft today. So if you've ever played fantasy football, I'll start. Wait, wait. So first off, it, we we get a topic, and we're each gonna name our favorite three things yes. in that category or topic. And so we will now also be taking feedback from you guys. Once again, our DMs are open on Twitter. Yep. And we also have an email if you guys want to email us. Comment on our YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe on um, and unsubscribe, then resubscribe, and unsubscribe and resubscribe. All right. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, it just <laughs> it helps us out. Uh, give us good content for what we can discuss because it makes our lives much easier. Um, so who wants to start? All right. Well, the category is 
best cars under twenty five thousand dollars, which mm -hmm. is much harder than you think. <laughs> John, we'll start with you. We're right. gonna go with a snake draft. All right. So my first pick in the daily hat trick is a Honda Pilot. <laughs> I'm a big Honda Pilot guy. My mom has one, and they drive smooth. They're quality cars at a quality price. All right. Um, <laughs> okay. You're I up. mean, fellas, we can't go wrong with a Toyota Prius. Great gas mileage. Gets you uh, from point A to point B, no problems. Yes. I uh, personally like the Kia Soul. If you've ever seen those chipmunk commercials with the guys hanging out the window and they're all like with the hoods up, they're like, let's go Kia. And uh, that's honestly right. my, my <laughs> favorite Super Bowl commercial of all time, besides Puppy Monkey Baby. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, looking forward to the Super looking Bowl. Looking forward to the Super Bowl, by the way. Uh, so I guess it's my turn again, right? So yeah, snake fourth draft. overall yep. snake draft. I'm gonna go with the nice little Kia Fiat or the Fiat 500. Ooh, Ooh okay. Fiat Ooh. 500. It's a nice little smaller cars here. Yeah, the little <laughs> Italian car. Um, <laughs> Italians usually like to do it big, but in this situation, it's a little small car. Uh, personally, I've never had an accident with one, but usually it's the most common. Uh, car to get an accident with. So if you ever are driving <laughs> on the uh, on the freeway, on the highway, whatever you folks call it, uh, just it's usually get the Fiat 500 in it. So so you're up to All right. So you took my sole pick, but I'm gonna go with the Chevy Malibu. Woo! And for one reason is I gotta love that guy in the commercials. Oh, that, yeah, I mean that guy is great. Electric. And awesome commercials. Hmm. All right. So I'm up next, and I'm gonna go with the Ford Bronco. <laughs> Iconic car, but it, okay. But why is it an iconic car? The, the juice is loose. That's the juice why. is loose. Yes. That's why. But they actually surprisingly get very good gas mileage. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> don't sleep on the Bronco. Yeah, don't. They're pretty safe too. So and now I'm up next because yeah. it's a snake draft. My third and final uh, pick is a Ford Raptor. Wow. Um, but a gritty but a, one. A gritty one that's really used. Yeah. <laughs> and probably has a lot of miles on you it. You got to keep it under 25. Because it's, it's oh, under definitely. 25k. Yeah, definitely. So. A lot of miles, maybe even an older one, but those are cool trucks. Yeah. Cool trucks. You want a truck that seems some better days. Mm -hmm. So pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go with the Honda Sonata <laughs> just because. You got to love the Sonata. Great car. Great high school car. 125K. <laughs> yeah, good price. Yeah. Um, so my final pick has the best gas mileage out of all of us. It is wow. a horse-drawn carriage. <laughs> wow. You don't, you don't need gas with a carriage. Uh, but low key, if you've ever been behind a horse, they rip a lot. So, um, <laughs> so a little story behind this. I really don't know how much this would cost. Uh, I'm just going under 25K. Um, <laughs> if I were to buy a racehorse, like, <laughs> like Secretariat, that I can put on. <laughs> okay, what he's saying is it would have to be a pretty cheap horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, sorry Let's about get, that. All right, Blazing. <laughs> okay, into our final topic of the day is the Blazing Five. Um, Same segment as last week. And we we're going to lock up last pick. week. Uh, we have five picks. Um, last week's record. Three, uh, two. three, and, three two. and two. So six the lock, set. though. One and one the lock. Yep, so always bet on our lock. It will yep. always hit. Yep. 100% uh, guarantee on that. <laughs> um, let's get into the Blazing Five. What do we got? Uh, so the Pats are our first one, obviously. I think we're all, are, we all are pulling Pats oh, yeah. here. Uh, and it's Pats line minus nine. Uh, this line's a joke, yeah, like John dude, already mentioned. John, John went off earlier about it. I love it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, next pick. Um, I mean, you actually chose this no, one. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that at the end. <laughs> we'll get to that. All right, Michigan State at Indiana. You got to love what Michigan State, uh, the Spartans are doing. They're, they're hot right now. Yeah. They were the one seed earlier. But yeah, Miles had Bridges that. had an off game against yeah. Ohio State. Yeah, they'll be back. So, yeah, Go Bucks. Go Bucks, baby. Our next pick is Penn State at Temple. Penn State, the Big Ten's kind of rolling in basketball yeah, this year. Um, I mean, for, for the Big Ten in yeah. basketball. Yeah. Uh, so, I think... I think Penn State will get that one. Uh, big boy pick going across the pond here. Martin <laughs> Schillick, uh, we support everybody here on Unscripted. Martin Schillick is making the Aussie final. That I mean, Aussie uh, quarterfinal. This is a guarantee for us. Guarantee, I mean, all right. This is a guaranteed pick. Wish we locked it up, but we didn't. You'll find our lockout in a second. Drew, what's our last Blazing 5 pick? Knicks at the Lake Show. Let's like go, that. Knicks. Yeah. Uh, Poor Zingod. Poor Zingod, uh, the unicorn, whatever you want to call him, Michael Rapoport, like to talk <laughs> about him in a very New York accent. Um, no, Loki was kind of trying to do a New York accent there. And our lock of the week is we are locking up that first pick. Pat's minus nine to review him. 
Uh, we got Pats minus nine. I mean, let's go. I yeah. mean, like I said last week, they will cover at halftime, yep, and this will. game won't be close. <laughs> exactly. Um, that, that's why it's a lock. Definitely. Uh, our second pick, Chillick making the Aussie quarterfinal. This is on you, man. Dude, mm -hmm. like nobody here watches tennis, so. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, this is, so this is a complete guess. I know I guarantee it, and I actually do probably still guarantee it, but literally none of us will watch this match, so viewers are going to have to tweet at us like what actually happened here. Um, <laughs> our next pick, third pick is uh, Miss State. Big 10 once again rolling. Um, uh, oh, Penn, by the way, that's not Penn State. That's U, U Penn. Because AJ Broder, AJ got AJ Broder. Yeah, so this is this is the this former T Hawk. And so they, they're actually rolling. The reason John thought this was Penn State is because Temple's actually a pretty good team, mm. and U Penn uh, in the Ivy League, right? Yep. A little smart. Um, <laughs> you, Broder, you, you come get to, on the show, man. You get yeah. Actually, though, like AJ, actually come on the show. U uh, Penn, like you can Skype us anything. U Penn is that a good year? They're gonna make a tournament run here. Broder's um, been, he's been uh, rolling the Ivy, Ivy League. Ivy League. Really rolling the Ivy year. League. Uh, really? Yeah, he makes, he, week by week, he's winning these crazy awards, which you never see from an Algonquin athlete. You, got, you guys think he uh, makes the NBA? There's a chance, mm. dude. I don't know. Like, how, I, how tall is he? Six, he's tall. Seven, six, eight. All right. All right. I maybe. Mean, maybe. He went to Well, this. I mean, time will tell. Yeah, we'll see. Um, and our final pick is the Knicks at the Lakers. Uh, Lakers, dude, they're awful. Um, <laughs> the Knicks Wait, haven't been Lonzo playing so well. Playing? Is Lonzo Lonzo's playing? not even playing. His, his hand is broken, yeah, he's, uh, it's oh, allegedly. Is he? Yeah, he's going to be out for a while. Um, LeVar over in Lithuania, the Ball Brothers, literally got zero points the other day combined. Um, so that's a quick ball update. <laughs> um, wow. This team's awful. I don't know. Do you watch any <laughs> Lakers or Knicks? I mean, I don't really. Aren't, this both, is, this aren't, is, aren't both teams garbage? Both teams. Uh, the Knicks are currently like the nine seed, so they're not awful. But this is like the classic, like, Knicks, Lakers are going to get so hyped for so far under 500 teams. Like, it's it's your classic <laughs> white New Yorker trying to, like, hype up everything. It's like the Metro. We're back, baby. It's the Garden. Come on. <laughs> but it's actually at uh, Staples. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Anything else post show? Uh, what are you gonna eat for dinner tonight? Oh shoot! I uh, filet mignon. All right. But wow. All right. I'm going big. Big steak bigger, guy. Bigger going home. Um, uh, James, what are you gonna have for dinner tonight? <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, that's our producer. That's James Mahoney. Can't he said he's gonna have honey. roasted chicken tonight, which is a phenomenal Can't choice. Is there wrong. gonna be gravy on that? Gravy, one of the four core food groups, is actually not on that tonight. Wow. And I think that is perfect way to end it. No gravy equals an interesting dinner. Go we'll Teox. Go Teox. We'll see you next Thank Tuesday. You guys. Thank you. Good luck.